finding largest number that divides two given numbers and leaves a particular remainder. Now we can also use Euclid's division or the highest common factor to find out which would be a largest number which divides any two given numbers, okay, a common number that divides two numbers and leaves a particular remainder. So let's read the question, find the largest number, okay, it's the largest number so it has to be what? It has to be the highest number that divides 2057 and 971 and leaves a remainder of 9 and 11 respectively. So what we need to do is we need to find out this number which divides 2057 and leaves a remainder of 9 and which also divides 971 and leaves a remainder of 11. So if you remember we had A is equal to BQ plus R, right? In this case A is the larger number which is 2057 is equal to B Q plus R. What is the remainder that we get? We get 9 as the remainder for 207, 2057. Similarly for 971 we get 11 as the remainder. Right? But what we don't know is what is this portion? Right? But what you know is that if the number divides 2057 and leaves a remainder of 9. In other words, what it implies is that if from 2057 I subtract 9, okay, and get 2048, whatever that number is, let's call that number as HCF, highest common factor. This high and com highest common factor would divide 2048 exactly, right? Similarly, this highest common factor will divide what? Will divide 971 minus 11, which is the remainder, or 960 exactly. Right? Are you clear? The, the idea is that whenever a remainder of 9 remains from 2057, that means that if I remove this remainder, whatever is the remaining, that will be exactly divided by that number. Same for over here. Now the simple thing that we need to find out is which is the largest number that divides these two numbers exactly. So we just need to find out the highest common factor okay, of these two numbers. Simple. 960. Right? This will go two times. 1920. Subtract this. 8 minus 0, 8. 4 minus 2, 2, 1, 2, 8. Divide 960 by this number, right? It should go ideally around um, 8 times. No, it should go 7 times. 7 times 8 gives you 56. 6, 5 carry. 89. 64. Divide 128 by 64 times 2. 128 subtract 0 is the remainder. So the highest common factor is 64 or in other words what this means is that when 64 divides 2057 and 971 it leaves a remainder of 9 and 11. You want to check this out? Let's do that. So we have 2057 okay and this has to be divided by what? This has to be divided by 64. 64 times 3 gives you 192 subtract this 137 okay times 2 gives you 128 137 minus 128 will give you 9 the remainder right and this is what we were told right at the beginning that when you divide 2057 by this number the remainder is 9 or in other words, right, what can I write? I can write 2057 is equal to 64 times. How many times does 64 gets in there? 64 gets in there 32 times, right? 64 times 32 plus 9. Do similar for 971. 
that's something I'll leave to you. But again, this result will be the same. You'll get 11 as the remainder.